What's up, gang? We're out here, about to start setting up intro to speed. This is the Wednesday night locations in the LBC in Long Beach, baby. I am stoked. We have Roger and we have Aaron all the way from Philly. So um, we are the cones. Let's get to work. I like to keep one color on one side and the other color on the other with the yellows at the apexes of turns. That'll help people kind of maneuver through the track. So yeah, we've been running this location since my birthday, I want to say 2022. We were out just like, for my birthday, I was like, yo, let's just freaking do an intro. It was a Wednesday night. Um, and I was like, yo, let's just go out, get a couple guys together, find a location local that we can do run an intro to speed. And lo and behold, we found this spot here after being kicked out of two other locations. So yeah, now we are here and we have been here with different security. Initially, we were like on level four because um, level five was off limits. They were building all the solar panels and whatnot, but we just started hang hanging out up here on the fifth floor. But yeah, so I normally kind of randomize the track that I start setting up here, but tonight a lot of us are gonna get kind of back in the groove of things. It's good to see see Roger out here he's been down for a little while he got into a pretty nasty battle with a with a curb I think if he's down and injured then you know that it's probably gonna take a little bit to kind of jump back from that one uh, but I'm glad that he's out here he's been riding a lot lately and it's it's a good thing to see and hopefully you get to ride with him soon at the Fullerton Loop I've been meaning to join him now that I've got a knobby tire on a wheel on the on the master so we shall do that so this is a kind of a long straightaway now that i think about it before i start zoning out let's see if i can cut it a little bit so it's not so dang long and we're not running at super high speeds so we got a nice chicane over there and i switch over to the to the right so that'll be a good slow zone if you will so i guess we'll hit that and then we'll start getting ready for this left here since we will be running counterclockwise first half and clockwise the second half so, I know it's definitely not the best place to do an intro to speed session, but there is no grip like to here. It's so rough here. It's really good for people that just aren't worried about slipping out. And um, yeah, it's the, so far it's been the best place that we've had for an intro to speed session on a Wednesday night. Okay, we're gonna curve it out this way to another decent straightaway here. To then we're gonna hook over to the left. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. A wonderful Wednesday hump day, baby. At the end of July, almost August. God, summer is just running by, it feels like, sometimes. It just happens so dang quickly already amidst August. But we're living it, we're enjoying it, we're riding. Enjoying the rides. I am so stoked on off-roading right now that I just want to keep doing it. So I'm so excited to eventually join Roger for one of his Fuller Tomb Loop rides and hopefully I can keep up. And also hopefully I'll have a proper pad set up. I know I keep talking about it and I'm bringing it up, but hopefully I have a proper pad set up so I can completely trust myself and trust the wheel attempting to keep up with Roger in his natural habitat of the Fullerton Loop. <laughs> yeah, we'll run a little hairpin here. We used to run the hairpin really close to that column right there, but it was not ideal, not optimal and kind of sketchy, honestly, but Took some feedback, stepped it away. Now we make the loop over there. So you hit this this gap between this column and that column with more space and at a straighter angle. So exiting is not so sketchy. We're gonna keep going here. We're gonna veer to the right. And we're gonna keep going. So we were over there. We're gonna start veering a little bit to the right here or veer left instead. So it'll be a slowdown section instead of a, well, a slowdown regardless, but a slowdown section to the left versus to the right. Keep it at a straight angle so people have some. So we're gonna give a lot of room to, to exit. Yeah, we've been doing intro to speed for, for five years now, going almost. I mean, what it was like January or February of 2020, right before it hit the fan, if you will. Man, we've been doing it quite a while now. It's been wonderful to see all these people step up and bring chapters to their local communities. I believe we're up to like 19, 19 chapters. We have three here in SoCal. We have us in LA, we have Santi hosting down in OC. We have, and then we have, I think there's like technically two in San Diego. It's the leader running Tuesday night. And I think Ryan Berardelli and Reggie running, running Saturdays in San Diego. So it's been, it's been a really cool thing to see people show up to these events and stepping up to, to host them. I'll throw a list up on the screen showing you where all the locations are and where you can join them. Keep in mind, most of these communities are posting on Facebook and the Intro to Speed Facebook page and also Instagram. So keep an eye out. 
on both social media platforms. Look at that perfect amount of cones. Now we're gonna go around, do the reds and the yellows. I do have a wheel that I could use and drop cones. I'll just do that instead. It'll be a little quicker. This is my rig. I got the scooter today. I got the waterborne surf skateboard. We have the all new badass M105. I think the best thing about this wheel has got to be the fact that it has a speaker. I am a huge fan of, of speakers on a wheel. I, I really used to absolutely shred on my EXN and I would always bump my own tunes to it when I didn't have any earplugs or earplugs or any AirPods or any kind of music. It was such a vibe. So I'm really happy to see if you're bringing it back onto the M105. Not only can you go to the grocery store in one of these bad boys, but you can listen to 50 Cent on the way there. This is so much easier and it's going to take much less time. Shout out to EUC Underground, the best electric unicycle retailer. If you're looking for a solid deal, you already know who to hit up. I'll leave his information on the description below in case you guys have any questions about prices and whatnot. But we are out here. So typically when you're setting up the track, depending on the space that you have provided, wherever you go to, try to keep it. If you do decide to kind of set up with something similar like this, try to keep it, um, I, I wanna say at least 13 to 15 feet wide. Take um, some steps from one side to the other side of the track and uh, make sure that you leave enough people for enough room for people to open up on their PEVs. And, and also in case some, you know, people get like, sometimes we'll get close to each other in some in some intros and some scenarios if you're leaving enough room for people to descend it essentially then and, and find their limit in a place like this i typically try not to give a lot of space for for fast speeds because you know we're dealing with columns and we're dealing with paint strips and we're dealing with stuff like that so i try to limit it so we try to keep straightaways to kind of a, a minimum or at least limited that way it's less sketchy and more technical and more brain power is used rather than just send, send, send. Send, send, send is fun to do at the dam, at the Sepulveda Dam, which is where we do the intro to speeds in LA. We'll be doing one, not this weekend. Actually, yeah, we'll be doing the one this weekend, OC intro. We alternate with OC intro, so we don't interrupt their sessions. So we will be setting up a dam session this, this Sunday. I need to post it, which I will tonight. It was satisfying to, to nail the a comb throw. Okay, now we're gonna highlight the apexes of the turn. That way people can coordinate a little bit easier. A little bit easier around the track. Sweet. Now you see the blue and the yellow. Now you see your, your apexes of turns where you're gonna have to be wary. Yeah, there's an apex there. Technically this is kind of like a chicane, so we'll do, we'll hit both sides. We'll hit the yellow here, because this is the inside. Oh, nailed it, sort of. Nail this side here on the left. Hit the apex here. Yes, sir. And then this will be the inside of this turn here over to the right. And we're going counterclockwise. And this will be the inside of this turn here. Dang, this M105 is zippy. It gets up to speed pretty quickly. And no dipping either. It's got the 50 SLs, this bad boy. It's got the new stuff. It's still 84 volt. It's still a little ripper. It's still a fun little wheel. Inside, 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 sir. Yeah, if you're ever in Long Beach on a Wednesday night, hit me up. We'll get you out here practicing on whatever PEV you're, you're riding. It could be an e-bike, could be an e-scoot. Anything that's electric is welcomed here. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna check in with the gang. Ooh, it's starting to get a little dark. Dang, look at that thing. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? It's so fast. <laughs> no. You can put that down there. In motion. I wish I brought my damn camera. <laughs> it just it's goes against master. every mental. Yeah. Like, oh, will you turn? Do a little. Uh, yeah. That thing has two wheels and it's an electric the, unicycle. The standing still goes against everything I've like. That's wild. You get used to it. No pads with a jump. Dude, where's that, Mario? It's an eight M105. Who's M105? It's uh, you already know. Who? Rogers. It's, it's Leems. Le oh, Le Leems on here? Oh, no, it's not. Here, representing no. emotion and friends. I may, I may have it's Roger. This is Roger. Burger. Roger EUC. Hi. That's me. Hey. Hi. Oh, hey, we're, we're filming each other. Hey. Yeah, we're filming each other. Hey, How's it going? That's an M. And I'm taking pictures. What is that? Some, some sort of five. What is that? That's an M105. M105? Yeah. The low light's better on the screen. Uh, M105. It does look like a yeah. super clean I, I wheel. Yeah. Roger, what is this? Oh, hey, oh. <laughs> No. On camera! On camera. Two M105. <laughs> two cameras. Get two M105. Yes, sir. We need to, we need to yeah. put our uh, speakers on. Oh. Don't worry about it. Snap. Heck yeah. Let's see if I can hook up to this little bad boy. We'll get away from the buddies over here. Be good 10962. Oh, I think I heard a little beeper. Let's see if we can jam. Yeah! <laughs> this is actually kind of loud. <laughs> Lachona, if you know, you know. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs>
We got our helmet on. We got the tunes on. We got the M105. Let's jam it out. All right, let's change the tune though. Great song, don't get me wrong, but let's see what we got here. Who could I put? Let's see. Let's put some vibey music or... Yeah, let's put some fun, trendy music. Trendy music. Oh god, I hit the cone. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. The loose traction. This is a 750 watt hour version of the M105. So, we, I guess, a pretty decent sized battery. wobbly on this guy. Thankfully nothing serious. You got somebody on the track who's that? Is that Darius? Yeah, it's Darius. On the links. It's a links, huh? Yeah. It's the American version with the uh, Michelin Pilot Street 2. Michelin, it's a, the American version with the Michelin Street Pilot too. Apparently, yeah. 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 We do that in America. They do a little things differently in Spain. But that's okay. Oh, look at these two bad boys here. Barely got any miles on it. Brand new tire. Oh man, light's pretty dang bright. It's kind of hype, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we're going 19, 20 miles an hour and we're not hearing any beeps. Normally the small wheels, the M104, start beeping at like 17 miles an hour, at least for me. My big boy, my big boy butt on it. I'm going, what, 21, 22, nothing. Oh, we gotta be real careful though. It's a really, really wobbly wheel. Skillish. All right. Oh, we got Dan stepping down from his truck. What wheel is that? It was an EX30. Oh no, that's a Master Pro. We got a Master Pro on a short track. That is not an easy feat. What's up, Talk John? Hey, good. how do we do? Oh, big boy. Roger on the big boy wheel. Is that a C40? Feels weird, man. Oh, yeah. Ah. You're not a fan? I've been on one of these ever, so... You've never been on one? On a... This is a V3. Oh, it's a new one. Yeah. C40, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, we can double check with it, but I assume so. Yeah. That rim is the dope. Everything feels like it's in a good spot for me. Nice. Because I really don't use the front of the pads if I don't have to. I like getting my legs out there. Yeah, it took me a few, but I guess I can get it. Nice. There you go. He's zooming. That's Roger. We are out here. Big wheel, dude. Buddy. That is. Okay, I'm gonna start taking my toys out the car now. I'm here myself for a track session. He's got a little, look at this thing. This thing's it's nice looking. It's got the red lights and everything. M1040 didn't used to have that. It's got the blue glowy lights. This thing is cool looking. I mean, I tried it like a little bit in the pitch black. So I didn't really get to like see it, see it. So this is my kind of my first time really like looking at it with a little bit of light. Let's see if we can just roll it over here where there's a little bit more light. Look at this thing. This thing is mean. These are the stock pads. They're a little on the stiffer side. Don't get me wrong. And I just it. But yeah. Speakers are on. Oh, let's check out the trolley handle. So I guess it. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. Okay, we're back up and rolling. So it's pretty short initially, it's configuring, but I think you can extend it. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice. That's a good size, at least for my height. That's pretty cool. Wild Roger appears. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, this is the M105. This is the hype. I'm stoked on this thing. Shut it off, let it rest. And we'll grab the other toys. Oh, that's smelly. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna. It's new. It's oh. got that new smell. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's a good smell. I don't wanna. I don't wanna, dude. Yeah. 
What's up? Oh, Dude, the Osmo is so good. Oh, look at you, you're all set. Oh my God, I don't know what okay, I'm looking at. So there's that. Smalls, I have knee pads that are yours. Oh, you good. Why okay. did you have them? Uh, from LA. I think you left them in my car. Okay, all right, that's cool. For sure. Dude, I lost my black Leons. It wasn't me. Really? Yeah, it's been a while now. <laughs> uh oh. So. Keep an eye out. Yeah, someone's have, someone has them, carry Someone has them. <laughs> so, so, this is the board we were riding on Sunday. We did the off road ride. This is the board itself. Kind of showed it a little bit, but didn't really show the details of it. This is a super single. It's huge. You're running a single motor, single ESC. You're running a locked axle from one side to the other. One spins, spin one tire, spins the other. We're running the draggy. Hopefully, we can hook up to it tonight. Got some lap times in there. Maybe you can put the GoPro on here. Get a little. Little shot, little low shot. That'd be fun. Okay, I'm gonna get her set up. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Let me say. Okay, not the driver I was looking for. Screwdriver. Well, um, this isn't a screwdriver, but I think we still have to do for tonight. I think I forgot to put, throw it in here. Left it in the garage. I guess if you know, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's get in here. Yes, sir. Really matter. Okay, we're back. And I think the lighting is better? I'm not sure. Sorry, say again? No, you're good, you're good. Do what you gotta do. Titanium? Titanium? Does it really matter? It doesn't. Okay. It's cool though. Yeah, yeah. And it's got cool colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. I checked it, but it, man, it's pretty cheap on Amazon. Are they like, really? Yeah. On the like, website, they used to have them really expensive. $10 each bolt on the fucking website. Fuck that shit. <laughs> so I looked on Amazon, bro. It's like, it's like $4 a bolt. Okay. Same exact shit. There you go. It's just the... You know, Asian manufacturers. It's titanium. It's all that matters. It's hype. It's cool. So why not This is the three link? Yes, sir. But the 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 thing. Oh, check out this is called Stooge version, right? This is the yes. This is the Stooge version of the three link. This is the inboard version of the three link. That's called the super spine. This is the super spine, correct? Okay. Now, our biggest job yeah. is to not blow anything up. So the way you do that is you figure out where you want the batteries. Not everybody's the same. So these are lipos, 9500 HRBs. Highly recommend them. You're gonna get the black to red. Right, we just increased the voltage from two, four packs, four cell packs to one eight pack. So now we're running eight S from four. So we're gonna carry on the tradition. We're gonna go black to red, then black to red again. Now, oh, no, not black to black, black to red. Now we increased the voltage again. Now these guys are all running in series to make twelve S because this one is four, this one's four, and this one's four. Four times three. It's 12, so we're gonna run 12S. Yes, sir. Now on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab the black, we're gonna grab the red, we're gonna hook these bad boys up. We got 8S at the moment. We're gonna go black to red. We're gonna go 12. Come on, big boy. Now, we're at 12S. So now we have one, two, three, one, two, three, two 12S sides. And we're gonna hook them up to run them in parallel. We're gonna run red to red, as simple as it gets, and black to black. We're gonna do the same thing down here. So we're gonna go red to red. A little spark is okay. And we're gonna go black to black. Yes, sir. Now we have a live 12S 2P pack. This joint right here is not giving me a lot of confidence. So we're gonna try to move the, the batteries around. Put some light in there. So we can try to work out the wiring so it's not super pinched. Because we don't like pinched wires. So this is pretty much every time, or literally every single time I have to turn on and turn off the board and getting ready for race day and, and all that good stuff. Normally, you want to run a little voltage checker, which looks like one of these bad days. 
Oh, well, that's a check here. We'll show you the voltage. Oh, that's very, that, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> okay, so 16.7 with just this cell alone is the overall voltage of all four cells. And you just kind of check each battery cell there. All pretty much in a safe, safe area. 4.19, 4.18, 4.2, I think I see, 2.1. It's all in a pretty safe area. So now. I'm gonna check the alarms to see where they're at. They're at 3.8. We're gonna keep them at 2.8. That's really low. And um, at this point, I've been writing lithium polymer or lipo batteries for so long, I can understand when, just by feel, when to step off of it without like really relying on the alarm so much. There's a video of Mario talking yeah. to himself. I'm not I, positive. But I'm I am talking sure to myself. <laughs> like doing drugs or something. Uh, no. No, no, no drugs. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Right? You don't think it has anything to do no, with the no, camera no. on his chin. Never, never, no, 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 no. If it does, that one's very, very, very. Okay. Like so now this concerns me a little bit. This little pinch right here, I'm not a fan, but it's not the end of the world. Honestly. Just do it. Pedal scraping then, So that's that, and this is that. So we got a bit of a. Oh god, okay. We're having fun on the little in motion wheel over there. Let's join the party. So that's pretty much it. You make sure the wiring isn't super in a bad position. Make sure your voltage is in a decent spot, which I just balanced charged these batteries. Dude, that was awesome. These batteries right before coming out here, so even though they were a little bit off, which is kind of normal. It wasn't alarming how far off they were, so that's a good thing. So you squish them up a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of check the gap here between the deck and the enclosure. It's pretty tight all around to the back. Front to the back. It's pretty tight all around. That's what we want. Now we turn on the board. We got the remote. Make sure we pack the remote. Grab the glove we're gonna be using tonight. Yeah. So the weirdest injury. Shout out Rux for these gloves. Like does an amazing job around the racetrack. And <laughs> so you didn't crash a single time on the track, right? Um, I did during practice day one. Oh. I yeah. slipped out on that rubber. We're gonna replace the this puck because this guy, yeah, look at this thing, it's that was tiny. Like, uh, it's about to go out on me. Yeah, this one's got a little. Um, actually, it's got a lot of life in it, so we're gonna replace it with this guy. So another thing, to, another race board thing. We're gonna put these bad boys away. That makes that does make more sense. What you did? No. So it's probably already fractured. on the Yeah. So you probably just made. So another race board thing we have to do here is grease the gears. These are open gear drive. So we gotta make sure they're always decently greased. Yeah. So we prolong the life of these bad boys because. Lord knows these guys go through a lot of stress. I want to say these things do what, like 17 kilowatts? So just soup can size of a motor. It's kind of wild. Okay, so now this is the best part, right? Radio Master, the best remote out there. Yeah. So we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Yes, sir. We need to switch. We gotta figure out how to head around that one day. So we're here for this guy to hook up. You can see what I can see here. Unfortunately, it seems like you won't be able to. We're waiting for it to can hook up to the receiver end. Radio here. Turn Still waiting for this thing. It doesn't normally take this long. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But that's okay. Okay, we're back. So, we got the remote hooked up. It's really hard to see with this little bright screen. So, we have power, baby. All right, let's get padded up and ready to go. That's a good ride. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff like Dove Canyon and Irvine and 
I'm always lost. Okay, yeah, I will be able to keep up with Mario and the draft from the bottom. On a board, you can have like, you can have like, all the way. We gotta keep doing that because we're here for stay with you. Can level go. I'm like, too. I'm like, too. The best way to get fast on the EUC is follow a fast e skate. Yep. <laughs> So I'm happy we're all benefiting from from a good from a good intro sesh today. Okay, so shout out to James, Sin City East Gear, for helping me set up the throttle curve here. If I'd really tried, yes. Yeah, totally. Okay, let's, oh, I got the wrong shoes on, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're on the track. Thank you, Aaron, for letting me by here. So we can keep up with Roger and Tucker. Jesus Christ. Talk about just getting right into it, man. <laughs> These guys are so fucking fast. This is a great time. So I guess Raj is doing stamina work today, so he's just gonna stay on the track and see if I can stay with him. Yeah, Max is getting on the track now. So far, these shoes haven't really bothered me that much. My foot's slipping in them a little bit, but that's okay. It's not enough for it to be concerning. Really good for technique that Roger has to hold speed through a turn like that. That is awesome on the length of all wheels. Yes, sir, that's good. I think everybody's legs will be shaking after today's session. Job. You are an absolute beast on an, an electric unicycle. Put a decent angle here. Tried to get a bunch of cones, that's not ideal. That's not enough. Who's behind me? Sloppy and all over the place tonight. I'm definitely, definitely not in the state I should be in. But that's okay. But today, today, the goal is to get faster and clean up the track because I keep hitting cones everywhere. God damn, I am sloppy and all over the place. <sighs> Camera went down. Okay, let's take a second to fix this track here. And also this GoPro. Okay, so. Okay. Dang, falling behind Roger, I'm absolutely mesmerized by the way he goes through, excuse me, through this track with so much speed. On an electric unicycle, that's incredibly impressive. So he's getting used to the links. Here, we'll throw this cone down.
Okay, that's that. It goes down on the Master Pro. That is not an easy wheel to short track. I hit so many dang cones. Oh. Okay, let's talk about a reality check. Okay, let's stay in it. Okay, let's give the legs a break because those feet are slipping all over inside the shoes. Oh. Holy yeah. Okay. Okay, let's grab the, the shoes that we, that we need. I just hope I pack them because sometimes I don't pack things when I really want to pack things, which Seems I don't think I packed the shoes, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to rock these shoes for the rest of the session. Big F in the chat. Yeah, I don't think I brought the shoes. Dang nabbit. That's fine, everything's fine. Okay. I'm gonna take a little break. Usually it's just B plus, but yeah, you might be right. So I mean, you it's just connect B plus and then you short out where the button cell is. Yeah. And then uh, see what happens. Look, two nazis. I can't believe you. Sponsor? You, like, yeah. you had a lot yeah. of people getting something. You bought it? I did not. Oh, you, they sent it? Yeah, Whoa. yeah. This oh, is the, the scooter company I will be repping for a little while. There you go. That's awesome. That, that's yeah, that's, that's, it's... It's different. Did you feel like you're getting a little tired with the handlebars being too wide? No. Uh, you ever feel like that, or, or maybe that's just me because I'm a little taller? I I didn't really experience that. Okay. I initially I had more like speed wobble like troubles because uh, I was just getting the hang of like the front wall drive like. Do they have steering dampers for this thing? I think it does. It has like a interesting linkage down here. It almost looks like a the Heim joint on a on a Suge. Just like to tighten it, or like. Yeah, yeah, you can tighten it. Now that I'm a little more used to it, I have a lot less, you know, I, I just have to get used to it, obviously, but... How's the suspension? It's decent. It's not, you wanna, you wanna try it out? Step on it and try the suspension. Well, they have, they have access to the engineering team, tell them to move this pivot down. <laughs> oh yeah? Wait, say it again? Move this pivot down. This guy down here? Interesting. A little more stable? For more better shock. More, more better shock? shock. Okay. That makes sense. Because it's just so high, the angle. Because the way it took me so long, I don't know why it took me so long to realize it. But like, if you hit a rock, right? Okay. It's a 90 degrees to the axle. Okay. So if the if the rock's like this big and you're hitting it, the force is this way, and the arm's facing this way, it's not gonna do nothing. Interesting. But if it's at this angle, it's gonna hit it. It's gonna move up. That makes sense. It's hard to explain, but I don't know what that means. What? You just have motors in the front, or what? Yeah. I know, this Handlebars. Ooh, this bad boy. Big side down. I just got the deck from this. Yeah, I know, that's cool. What's the real motor on this? Tito, feel free to bounce on it as much as you like. It was a little stiff out of the box, but I think I'm slowly breaking it in. I did take it to an off-road trail and like absolutely put it through its torment. Is there a like ledge or something that interfaces with the inner diameter of the tube in there? That, I didn't take a chance to look inside, huh. I, but I wouldn't be able to answer that question. I'm not too sure. I think you can actually change the, the if like the, you do need to change the steering angle, right? Yeah. You can change it from right there. 
Okay, I, I'm not I aware. Think, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. But it looks like it, where it grabs on right there on the shaft. If it does, it would get like out of whack. Interesting, okay. Yo, what's up, dog? All what's the way from on? the valley, dude. Yeah, I know, right? What's up? How much? You want that thing? I did. Feel free to bounce on it. It's fun to bounce on it. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's very interesting to actually ride it. So I, I wouldn't be able to tell you if it can withstand that. All right, sorry guys. I gotta go. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Yeah, I know. No worries. I wanted to come by and like actually race, but my dog. Only if you get the one now. Okay. Let's just make sure that everybody's stuff is in one corner. We'll put smalls. He left those in my car from the weekend we went to LA. Car pulled. Oh, you, you skate stuff, hats, remote. Okay, so let's get back yeah, on it. Love. Oh, I can't believe it. I forgot my shoes. Comes me out a little bit. But that's okay. At least we got shoes. I'm scared of wobbles. Oh, wait, why are you wobbling? Oh, you took your bottom off. They destroyed. It's self destructive. Is that why you're wobbling? Uh, it might be. I don't know. Or is it? You, or you should have a new shock. No, it's the... Oh, the laces here. Okay, um... Hopefully it helps with the foot moving and the shoe oh, deal. A lot has changed with my boot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dude, I feel so comfortable about it. Yeah? Well, I mean, I, well, I feel actually I have, um, slightly out of control, but, like, it's a good out of control. I am all over the place. I just did three laps without getting tired though. Yeah. I could have gone for like a few more. Nice. Actually, the zip ties are these thorns. Oh. Okay. Good. That means you're not in terrible shape. He was my butt the whole time. He was, and then he got tired. He got tired. I, for once, didn't get tired. Dude, that was your like, Achilles heel before. I know. Hey. I'm gonna go chase Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Yell at him. Long time no ski. Yeah, man. All right, we're back on it, baby. Yes, sir. No, we break it down. Oh, that hurt. Mentally get hot. That was a crazy day. I'm not gonna lie. It hurt. Yeah. 
So uh, on the way out here, I told Aaron that we needed to bring a little bottle of WD-40 okay. and just like grease up one of your four tires. One of them? So just, just one of them. And then it'd be a little more fun to chase you around the track. Oh man. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Dude, I hear those motors behind me, dude. They're like right there. They're screaming. <laughs> My legs are starting to give out. <laughs> me too, man. Try to keep with you holding that camera while you're doing that. Yeah, next first time today too. Tell my fucking chef around. What? <laughs> Mario, I've never done this before. Whoa! Look at this man. Whose man's is this? I've leveled up. Got the move. Level up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Level up. Song high here. Song high, turn off your lights, bro. Oh, my bad. Very good. Oh. I'm like, I want to pass out, dude. Dude, Mario. Yeah. I think I got my, I got right, my settings down. You go, and I see if I can stay on you. Oh, that's so sick, dude. Yeah. Once it's yeah, like, what's up with that? Uh, once I just need to follow you. Yeah, you haven't seen my calves. They're that's tiny. Like, yeah. Got oh, legs. I need to get in shape. Dude, Mario. Uh, How's your leg? Uh, almost cool. there. No. Almost yeah, there. Very I just cool. need a panic cross I need to get closer. <laughs> it was bothering me, but it's good now. It's gotten stripped out. We'll get that later. What the fuck? Nice. Why well, can you like Switch one. I like the new remote. Huh? I like the new remote. I dig it. Bionic. Options are awesome. Okay, I'm good. Throttle and brake curve, I just found out. Uh, I can do separate. This is a so um, I have separate brake uh, throttles for acceleration and braking. No so, signal issues. No signal issues whatsoever. You got to change like the packet thing or whatever. Ah uh, yeah, I'm down to 150. Packet rate of 150 hertz. Just yeah. <laughs> I did patch. I have one, but I mean, yeah. not on me. Let's see if I can hang with the unicycles, or maybe I should give them bait. I should have them follow me. I like rode my pedal that entire hairpin. It was yeah. <laughs> I heard of something like that, yeah. All right, let's go. She looked fine when I looked at her. 2374, dude. Can I even do that on the e skate? 22, maybe? 25, 23, 23. Two tenths off. Doing 23s? Oh, actually, sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to help you guys. 2374. That's optimal. 2354. Just a 2374. That's still like two seconds. Yeah, dude. Damn. Damn. Look at this fool. Shoo. God. Damn. You out of here? Good to see you, Dan. Thanks for coming out, man. Bye, Dan. Bye, bud. You can make a steel frame. Damn. Yeah, damn. That's a lot. Dude. <laughs> The glory. Oh, that's not bad, but I, I I fixed it right after you did that. Okay, I'm gonna do an e skate and see if I can match that time. Yeah, I think match. you can. You think so? Yeah. I'm rusty as f right now. <laughs> no, I kid you not. I am more oh, mentally yeah. oh, rusty than I've rusty. been. But I mean, like every time you tell me you're rusty, you you still beat my time. Well, I have to try. Okay, so. I'm trying to remember your name. I can't remember your name. So I'm high. We got the draggy app. You're the off-road man. Well, the draggy and the draggy app. So our goal tonight is to be 23 seconds, 23.74. Let's see if we can manage to do that. That is the fastest EC time documented of the night. So let's put this guy to work. 
Oh, big board. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? Actually, we've been doing more off road stuff. Yes. I'm, you know it's what? more off road stuff. Off road stuff is value. Yeah. Is not value, it's life. It really is nice. Yeah, you know what? Come to. Come mm, to let's go again. You got it? And you felt sloppy and it was two seconds, almost two seconds faster. So, yo. Huh? There is intro Sunday. It's last Sunday ride. Oh, what is that? What is that again? The Yoshi ride with Dan and oh, the night, yeah, all the, the guys were there. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to hit the mountains, or the same thing we did last time. I don't know what it's called. Mulholland Drive? That was the Zemeki Missile site. Yeah, it is off the Mulholland Drive. Okay. Let's get this lap done. Okay, holy sh balls. My legs are all over the place. I'm all over the place. I didn't feel great about that because I was hitting cones here and there, but let's see what the time says. Because the time don't lie. Flip this bad boy over. Make sure we don't get in our runways. My dad, we mean the board just randomly running on its own. Not likely, but anything's possible. 2309. Really? Yeah, dude. That's it? That's it. In my current condition. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, just say my current condition, huh? huh? Yeah, if you lose this five pounds, ooh! Badass. I could do that. Eating a chocolate cake shake today. <laughs> dude, you ran him out. I did. Optimal is 22A2. 22A2. If you can do that, it's a little second faster than you. One second? He doesn't have to lose weight, he just has to get lower. Yeah. Lower center of gravity. Use that weight to your advantage. The man's got a point. You need wider tires. Okay. <laughs> what was your time at? Five down to your feet. Mine? Yeah. 23.74. 23.74. How do we look at the thing? No, uh, I don't ride for two months. This is what happened. I wish I could, like, blame, see blame the data. Oh, oh, maybe history? Yeah, get up. <laughs> 2374. So that's only like it's almost that's 2374, 2309. That's like a little over half a second. Let's see if I can get a 22. You try, just don't eat it. Please. I didn't feel like I was gonna eat it like the whole time. So like it felt like reckless but in control. It's now. Huh? <laughs> well, some of my legs are like a little bit awake. Yeah. When you're coming to the straight, you purposefully, it looks like you purposefully throttle, not only to accelerate, but also to oversteer. It looks like you're like, yeah, you're, it looks like you're drifting. Because as you come to the cone line on the right, 
it looks like you throttle it more and it kicks the board out in the back end but in in the front really yeah that's awesome it looks super cool i'm just trying to accelerate to yeah. gain more speed through there i think i can go hotter into some of the turns rely a little less on the brake just a little bit keeping it moist is like goaded when it comes to road i didn't do it for this one when i should have because i didn't get tegaderm but i recommend tegaderm i would put you for yeah, you put Neosporin and then and then Tegaderm. If you don't have Tegaderm, Neosporin all the way. Dude, the Oswo man, I gotta give it to them. Okay, what time did we get? That's the big question. Okay, you ready? 22.29. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that beating optimal? Why? Yeah. You beat optimal? Because it allows them to. Fucking optimal prime is dead! You beat the time, boys. 22.29. <laughs> 